Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition of Star Citizen 3.1 PTU. Now, I've been getting uh, a lot of comments um, saying, oh, that's so awesome, you're so lucky, you got into the PTU. Oh, by the way, um, I read something on Reddit that Wave 2 might have access so if you're in wave two make sure to keep an eye on your emails this might be late news to y'all in wave two but just wanted to put it out there in case somebody you know didn't happen to catch it um but people were saying oh you're so lucky you got into wave one ptu and this and that da -da 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 -da. and on the one hand it's like <clears throat> yeah you know i feel lucky that um i get to test this and and you know give my input and try to make the game better um, but on the other hand, you know, it's not all rainbows, puppy, puppies, butterflies, and, you know, candy, um, as you're about to see. So if you're not aware, in the last couple of patches, the Reclaimer has actually been removed. Um, reasons unknown. It's possible that maybe they had the Reclaimer in for stress tests, so that way they could go back during these current Reclaimer less patches to do some optimizations um i don't know but i am without my baby and that's why i'm using this footage because i miss her <laughs> i haven't had her for like two days i feel like i'm going through uh reclaimer withdrawals that's only a partial joke that's only partially joking um but there was a lot of issues that cropped up um there's a lot of little things that would either impact your ability to do a thing or would take out the thing all in all um for instance in the andromeda i know this is an issue that seems to possibly be carrying over but um missiles are not locking on and they're giving a tone which is like the mfd selection tone but it's like deeper um so that's that's just one issue and that's like not really that big of a thing but uh, man i love the reclaimer like look at that that is majestic as fuck and as i was watching this i was actually like oh look at like, right there boom <laughs> guy just bounced off the fucking retaliator and the retaliator is like oh, i didn't even feel it so i saw i thought that retaliator was actually going to chase down this reclaimer out of uh armistice and, and knock it down with the torp so that's what i was hoping and waiting on but un unfortunately he either got away or the retaliator was just completely you know amazed and flabbergasted by the uh the reclaimer over there speaking of a new ship uh as you can see i'm in the terrapin this was actually one of if not the very first time uh i got in the terrapin um so that's why I'm kind of looking around a little bit. Actually, no, I take it back. This was probably the second time that I got in it. Because the first time I did go around and look at every little box and every little thing. And I am digressing. So, anywho. Um, people are always saying, oh, wow, you know, you're so lucky that you got in. But it's not all rainbows, butterflies, you know, happy times, cupcakes, shit like that. You know, no unicorns in the PTU. At least not yet. Um... Well, no, I mean, depending on what your definition of a unicorn is, because I did find, a, I guess what you could call a unicorn server, where I had 60 FPS for a good five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Um, but this was one of the first times I got into Terrapin, because <laughs> that was an epic failure. Um, <laughs> the look on my face, if you could see the look on my face when I did that, I was just like, are you serious? Like, in a joking way, I wasn't mad, you know, it was like, huh, of course, I would just slam right into the damn side of it. So, what you're about to see is part of uh, that testing that I was talking about. So, I had verified that nobody was on the large pad outside, um, and I wanted to go ahead and, well, first I needed to claim the damn terrapin, because my dumb ass just decided to slam it into the side of the rotating circular thingy trying to show off but failed miserably 
this was the first time also that I noticed the expedite fee was in, so I was a little taken aback. I'm like, oh, they actually put a fee in for the PTU? That's odd. But, I mean, you know, if they want to test it to get it live, I don't know how I feel about that coming in just yet, but, I mean, it adds a little bit of balance. People hopefully won't be such shitheads and griefers. Fingers crossed. Here's hoping. So... Every time I go to try to uh, spawn the Reclaimer, jack and shit happens, and Jack left town. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. Um, after one of the times <clears throat> I tried to spawn my ship, it did the whole thing where it was like, Oh, all the pads are full. We'll let you know once it's not. So I decided to take a stop over at Dumper's Depot and look through some of the things here. And finally, there's descriptions on stuff. So if you don't know what things are, I suggest to go over to Dumper's Depot. So this was about a 10, 11 minute uh, thing. Eventually, I got fed up and I'm like, no, come on. There's got to be someone. You know, it's got to be just bugged. Uh, that's me being bored. And finally, um, after I believe it was this time, the Reclaimer finally spawns. And I was so stoked. Although I'm getting kind of slightly, you know, mixed signals here, um, I was finally able to get the Reclaimer put on to the pad. Um, so even though the Aesop terminal said, eh, nope, wrong answer, fuck off, buddy, no ship for you, uh, as you can see on the left, the ship uh, indicator popped up. So it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, chalk that up to possibly another, you know, bug. Uh, but I didn't even care. Uh, I had a smile on my face so huge. I mean, it was ear to ear. I was like, finally, my reclaimer. Uh, so I didn't even really give two squirrel farts what happened. Um, so another thing that's happened to me a couple of times is when I finally get to the reclaimer and I get inside, before I can even reach the cockpit, ATC's calling and we're like, we're sorry, but you've taken way too much time. Uh, we're going to just magically teleport your ship and you away. And it's like right when I'm at the damn pilot seat when it happened. Or I'm on my way and I'm almost there. Um, so another thing, you know, it, it, these little bugs that get really, really annoying. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Now, I'm sure some of you are like, well, that's nothing. That is not an issue. I would not mind that whatsoever. Da -da 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 -da. You're right. You wouldn't the first 57 times. But that 58th time <laughs> when that shit doesn't load, <clears throat> or the 58th time when that shit loads not fully, or the 58th time you get warped out of there when you were right there come talk to me now again you know this is part of the open development this is actually almost part of the fun of the open development is because you finally get to see you know uh, the backstage of it get to take a peek behind the curtain now this was another issue right here although the item uh, indicator was popping up the door under the reclaimer was not opening and you can see dead ahead that you notice that flash well, if you recall, storms are not in the game yet. They're not in space. There are no space storms. That was the second indicator something was wrong. The first being that the door wouldn't open is, is basically what I was trying to say the first time. And then there's this, that weird rubber banding that just popped me back and forth. And when you're there in the moment, you're thinking like, Oh, ha, that's kind of funny. Hey, ha ho. At least I do. I mean, I like the funny, silly glitches third thing that should have uh, been a red flag. There was no outer door, or at least or the outer door was open. At least that's what I thought. And the blood on the wall. That's a bad indicator. No, <laughs> that's just rust. Um, but now another one. Door just decides not to open for me. And then it halfway opens and then it, it's like, nah, I changed my mind and closes again. <laughs> now keep in mind, this whole ordeal was going on for at least 25 35 minutes and then it started to happen the slowdowns and I could tell I was like oh no this is a memory leak if you're not in the PTU and you haven't seen the catastrophe a memory leak can bring go check out my video three dot bug because at the end that happens um, so <laughs> we go a little bit further I finally make it to the cockpit 
I'm so stoked, and what? Oh, ooh, that looks diff. Wait a minute, there's no chair there. And there is the universal sign of nope, I can't even. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's only part of it. And I got an extra bonus clip for you right here as well. So I finally get into the PTU, and I'm getting ready, and I'm looking through my missions, and I'm like, okay, yep, so, uh, you know, checking out the beacons, and all of a sudden, things start to do a thing. Well... They start to not do a thing. I'm trying to click on the buttons. I can hear the noise, but nothing's coming through on the video. And all of a sudden, wah, wah, wah. this is something that you would have to get used to if you were looking to get into the PTU or the ETF. So other than that, uh, I'm going to leave the video here. Just wanted to bring you this quick update as to what the PTU is really about. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for future episodes, leave them down below in the comment section. The March Cutlass Black giveaway is still going on. All you need to do is be a subscriber, like, and comment the videos all throughout March, and you are entered. Simple as that, folks. You really can't go wrong, you know? Get a chance to win a Cutlass Black and possibly get a couple of laughs out of it or something. So, thank you very much for watching. All you beautiful bastards out there, you have yourselves a wonderful day, morning, evening, whenever, wherever you happen to find yourself. This has been Will. Peace.